I'm Amber Wally and I'm Managing Director at Human One. I'm 27 years old. Um, I am a graduate from Leeds University. Uh, I've got two dogs who are adorable and a very, very large family, lots of brothers and sisters. Everything that you do gets you to where you are, so it's had some sort of contribution. I think the philosophy side of things, because there's you know arguing and you know being logical, that side of things. But ultimately, no, probably not. <laughs> Get back Can you say that? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I felt very determined actually, I had a sense of purpose, I knew what I wanted to do and I knew how I needed to do it um, and I went about it quite quickly, didn't hang around, as soon as I finished, within about two weeks I'd already got signed up to a number of different recruitment agencies um, and I think it was just, I, knew, I had that focus, I knew what I wanted. Well, at the time, I knew that I wanted to get into recruitment eventually. Um, I had a friend who was also at the University of Leeds, but she'd left the year before and she'd gone into uh, IT recruitment, I think it was. And I remember having a conversation with her and she told me how fun it was. So I signed up to recruitment agencies that were for recruitment, but also sales. Then I got caught up in the whole media sales and ended up starting in a media sales role but obviously got to where I wanted to be eventually. On the job, I think when, when I first started doing the operational role, um, it was at a time of change for Human One, um, and a lot of the things that I learned, it was just doing it then and there. There was no, there wasn't really anybody um, to learn from on site, but I had some incredible mentors and advisors helping me, but it was just do it and, and learn that way, make the mistakes. I think just to be confident, have courage in your own conviction. Um, I think a lot of the time we, we think that the, the actual event is going to be a lot worse than it is. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? You know, you put yourself out there and somebody says no, so you try again and just don't give up. I've learned to delegate, I would say. For me, that's the thing I, I mean, I'm still learning. It's not something I'm very good at. But when you've got a team of people, you know, behind you and with you, you have to learn to delegate to them because you can't do everything on your own. It's important that you take advice whilst you know you should always do things and make your own decisions to an extent if someone's been there before and they've made the mistakes listen to them and learn from them because it will save you a ton of pain and time <laughs>
again, there's more, there's more to life than just work. Um, for me, it's always about the type of people that, that are within the company. It, it just needs to be somewhere that feels right, I think. And I've always gone by kind of how I feel. Um, that's always kind of led my decisions. It's why I left the, the recruitment agency I worked with before I came here. It just, I wasn't happy, even though I was actually doing well and my commission was good. It just, I hated going to work each day.